Good morning, goats. And chickens. I'm about to make some noise in here. Well, my wife is getting a fourth goat uh, in like five days, and it's going to be a fainting goat. And so she needs to keep it separated. She needs to keep it separated from these goats uh, for so many days. So I've I've got to um, end up making another animal stall. I need to get uh, another you know animal stall in this barn built today so that it's ready for Friday. So I got a lot to do. Um, previously, you can see we've built. We built this goat stall here. This is like a double stall. It's a pretty, pretty big size stall. And I had this platform in here for the goats to be able to climb on top of and lay on. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this next stall. This next stall is going to be half the size. Um, it's going to go, basically it's going to go right beside it. It's going to go in this location right here. And uh, so it's going to be about half the size of the other stall. And then on that back wall here, on that back wall here where that concrete row of blocks is, I'm just going to cover that up with a board. I'm not going to build a platform in this stall. But uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do probably some of this uh, goat and sheep panel on the side, just like I did the other one. And then I'll probably, on the front of the stall, I'll probably do something kind of solid uh, like this other stall to try to get it to match. But uh, it's going to be interesting in here today. My wife has been working last weekend all weekend. She worked this weekend all weekend. So uh, basically, I've been on my own the last couple weekends doing these projects. So I'll be in here today with all these goats and all these chickens. And it's gonna be dark and dreary in here today because it's dark and dreary outside. Um, I do have a couple work lights. Not sure how long they'll work, but I'm gonna go ahead and get tearing this old stall whatever the remnants of this old stall is right back here. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and tear that out and uh, get started building a new stall. Hopefully I can get that done today. And uh, <laughs> and hopefully these goats don't uh, end up annoying me too much, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but hopefully today I can get this torn out and a new one built in its, in its place. And it'll be ready for Friday for my wife to get her, her new goat. So she actually, this goat is one I think she agreed to purchase first, but she's been waiting for it to be weaned. Um, she thinks she actually had the, this spaning goat lined up to purchase before she even got these Nigerian dwarf goats. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. See if I can get some lights in here, maybe help uh, light it up a little bit so it's a little easier to see. And uh, see if I can get this stall built today. See, this is what I'm going to have to deal with all day long, is you two are going to be climbing on me. Yeah. You guys are going to want some kind of treat or some food. Well, I was able to get this uh, old stall ripped out pretty quick. That probably took about 15 minutes or so. And uh, I'm gonna start building this stall. I'm gonna build it the same way as I did the last stall. So I started off around these metal posts and I'm gonna wrap that with some wood. So I'm gonna put a two by six on the front and then a two by four on each side. And that'll basically kind of wrap this post and give me something to be able to build off of. It's going to basically look like this post right here. This is the exact same thing. So we'll go ahead and we'll start right here off of this post. And that will be the other corner of this stall. And then we'll get uh, building this wall here. And then we'll get built in the front. And hopefully it won't take very long.
So I just finished the front here on this stall and it uh, pretty much matches the other stall. So it's all looking pretty good. My last LED light just went out. So I probably need to charge the lights. Probably need to stop for lunch. Uh, when I come back, I'll go ahead and build this gate here. So this gate, I'm going to basically take the, the rough opening, you know, of this gate. I'm going to basically just minus about three inches off it and make this gate about three inches smaller. And then that'll leave me about an inch and a half on each side. That'll be enough room for the big gate hinges and a latch on this side. So that's what we'll be doing next, building the gate. Well, I finally got done uh, finishing this small animal stall here in the barn. So we got we got our goat and sheep panel. We got it here on the side. We got it on the side exactly the same way we did on the goat stall. And uh, on the back of the this stall, we didn't build a platform like the goats, but we did have a concrete this short concrete block wall here, and it has those holes in it. So we got this board down to cover them holes up. So that'll be a lot safer than an animal getting their leg in there and twisting it or hurting it. But uh, the small goats and stuff like we have, they'll be able to just climb on here no problem. And they'll probably even really small ones will be able to lay up here, I don't think, without any issue. Uh, at least the babies. An adult goat probably isn't going to lay on here, but I think the young goats would have no problems laying up there. So we did end up hanging, we did this same thing in the goat stall too. We ended up hanging a, a bucket hanger on the side and then we have a bucket hanging in there this is a temporary bucket for now but we'll end up hanging like a flat back bucket uh, on here and that'll be how we water the goats or water the animals whatever animals we end up having in here i will probably end up building some type of a hay feeder it would probably even be smaller let's put some kind of a hay feeder here on the side uh, i haven't done that yet still need to do that so uh since this is a smaller stall we end up putting a mineral feeder over here actually on the side. So we got a mineral feeder down here on the side and the, the other goat uh, stall back here. So this goat stall back here, you can see we put a hang on bucket right there. And then that is so we can feed, uh, just, you know, be able to give, give feed, feed to the goats. So we'll probably do something. I'll probably end up putting a hang on bucket on this side as well. So if we want to give them feed, we can pour it in that bucket. But, uh, Anyway, that's the uh, that's the uh, new small stall down here in the barn, and now my wife can go get the fainting goat that she's supposed to be purchasing. So right now it's two days away from when she gets the fainting goat. So I think we're we're pretty much set up in here. We'll need to come up with some way to be able to feed her some hay, but uh, pretty much the stall is is ready to go, so she can get her new fainting goat. 
So that's it guys. I just wanted to show you, uh, we're continuing working down here in the barn, trying to get stalls and get this entire barn made out. So we still got some more stuff to do down here. We will eventually end up kind of walling off that back section on that side so that we can keep our feed stored and everything away where the animals won't be able to get to it. And uh, we still are gonna build at least one more stall down here. Uh, it'll be similar to this stall like this, but uh, I think I'm gonna totally enclose it with fencing so I can use it as a brooder if I want to. And uh, I, that's, what we're, that's right now what we got planned down here. So if you're interested in watching us kind of fix this old barn up, eventually we will get to putting electricity, water, We'll eventually get to painting the outside, trying to fix uh, more structural issues. We got some more posts on the ups upstairs part that we need to fix and some other structural part parts that we need to fix on the upstairs. So there's quite a bit to do on this. It'll probably be definitely a year or two it'll take us to be able to get this barn fixed up. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.